morning, my people. So glad to see you here again. Um, side note, before we launch into this, just real quickly, it was awesome getting to see some of you when I made my notebook rounds yesterday, although I've got to say it was killing me to not run up and give you just a big ol' hug and chat with you about how you are and how your extended spring breaks have been, because um, I stinking miss you guys. Um, for those of you that I didn't get to see, which was really, really sad, um, it's really nice knowing that this time next week we'll be able to connect via Google Hangouts or Zoom. Zoom. Um, I don't exactly know what days or times. Um, still have to coordinate that with the other teachers, but all I know is I can't wait. So hopping into today's lab, um, we are going to deal with one of the most important scientific tools there is, and we've actually used it multiple times this year to test the temperature or the amount of heat in the substance. Can you guess it? Da, da, da. Thermometers. So thermometers have been a basic part of so many areas of society for a really long time, including health and environmentalism and even in eighth grade science classes. And I got to thinking, hey, it would be awfully easy to make our own using stuff that you probably have around the house. Let's get building. So to start, you're gonna pour equal amounts of water and rubbing alcohol into just any old plastic bottle. Um, I've got to say, my bottle was in much better shape before my dog got a hold of it, but this weather clearly has her excited and ready to play. I've been informed rubbing alcohol is a hot commodity right now because apparently people are using it to make hand sanitizer. But typically people will have this in just like their bathroom cabinets. Okay, so now that your bottle is about a quarter of the way full, we're going to add just a few drops of food coloring so that we can see the contrast. Go ahead and kind of get that shaken up. Now you're going to want to insert your straw that the trippy thing about this is you need something to kind of help hold it in place. So I'm going to try some Play-Doh here and see if that does the trick. The key with this is you want to make sure that that top stays open. Okay. So now that you've got your thermometer built, you're going to test it by placing it in a whole bunch of different hot and cold substances. Unless you're dealing with a store-bought digital thermometer that just gives you a number read when you put that thermometer in a substance, the way that we tell what the temperature of any substance is, is by looking at the liquid that's inside that thermometer or inside your straw and seeing how much it falls or drops based on the substance that you're putting it in. So as you're testing your different cold and hot substances, I want you to think about two questions. What's happening with the molecules that causes the liquid in the straw to drop when I put it in a cold substance? And what happens with the molecules that causes the liquid in the straw to rise when I put it in a hot substance? We are all about precision here in science, and I know these are not precision instruments that we've created here. I mean, you can basically tell if something is hot or cold, but there is a way to make them a little more precise if you have a store-bought thermometer at home. So if you measure the temperature of a substance using your store-bought thermometer and then you make a mark on your bottle where the liquid is when you measure that same substance using your homemade thermometer, you would have a degree measure on your homemade bottle. And if you do that enough times, you might end up with a semi-accurate temperature scale even on a homemade thermometer. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep hanging in there with this quarantine business. I mean, I get it. it's a little unreal, but it's not going to last forever. 
make sure that you stay in touch with each other. Make sure you stay in touch with me. And guys, get outside. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, Nala is even enjoying the weather, taking a little nappy nap over there in the sun. Uh, but guys, use the time that you have well. Um, we didn't choose to be stuck out of school. We didn't choose to be stuck at home. But we can choose how we're going to respond to that and what we're going to do with the time that we're given. Okay? Um, although the fact that you guys are here and you're watching this and hopefully doing the lab with me tells me that you guys are right on track. All right. Love you people. Miss you people. Hope you have a great day.